before I begin, I would like to point out indefinitely that I do not personally care about Charlie. I don't care that deeply about this person, but I do care about the online zeitgeist and how people interpret information. And that's the part that really gets me agitated and gets my soul in a flare, if I could put a phrase to it. I have this personal theory inside of my soul that I think people intrinsically have this issue inside of their mind where they see a headline and then they say, well, that headline must be the entire context of everything. That headline must be everything I need to read. When they don't go the further step to actually read indefinitely and in depth about certain things. So let me explain something. Charlie is quitting YouTube is what I've read 17 times at this point. I've gotten a message on Instagram. I've gotten a message on TikTok. Heck, I've even gotten a few comments on my videos on YouTube, which is strange for me. And I'm really happy that you guys are commenting, boost the algorithm, woohoo, I'm so happy about that. But the fact of the matter is, one of you called me. One of you called me on Facebook, so now I'm talking about it. Now I'm having a conversation, now we're talking, now we're flow and flow, bro and bro, glow, glow. Charlie, Moist Critical, Penguin Zero, whatever you want to call the legend and myth, the man himself, has been in some recent controversy because he lost the debate to Sneeko. Fine and dandy, Charlie's not the most prolific debater. I never consider him to be the most prolific debater. I can hear, consider him somebody that is great at solo content. When he is speaking in front of the camera by himself, he has the greatest quips of all time. What's going on guys? It's critical. Today we're gonna to be talking about this nasty troglodyte weirdo who's a water bear basically. He doesn't really understand the fact of the matter that he can't talk and diddle with kids. Like that's, that is moist critical. The, the low tone and pace of his voice, the fact that he can bring illusions and different marks from any point in history is beautiful. The fact that he can say so many different things sounds like he wrote down and scripted it. Just like me, he and I don't script things. He just speaks. He has a subject he wants to talk about. He talks about it. Sneeko beat him in a debate. Fine and dandy. If you want to believe that, that's fine and dandy. He was sidelined in a debate. I'm not going to make any excuses for him. He had horrible talking points in a lot of parts of his debate. That is fine and dandy. Sneeko, however, still believes that if you're 15, you should be able to marry somebody that's 21 if everybody consents to it. So I... I don't know why nobody's talking about that. Nobody is bringing that up, but everybody keeps bringing this stuff up. I, I, I gotta stop getting on Twitter. But let me let me talk about Charlie quitting YouTube. Let's talk about that. Let's me and you. Let's talk about this. Charlie on his Patreon released this statement. <laughs> Show update. Goodbye, Charlie. Hey, everyone. Effective immediately, Charlie has made the decision to leave both the official podcast and Red Thread. He wants to go on an indefinite, indefinite hiatus to scale back his time on the internet. We obviously wish him the best. For everyone to respect his decision and for all to know the show will always be open for him to drop by and talk shop should he wish to return. The official podcast, Red Thread, and Criminally Stupid are not going anywhere in light of this announcement. Now, this is him saying he's leaving the official podcast red thread and criminally stupid show update goodbye charlie show update goodbye charlie now i know a lot of people may be confused by that statement but charlie is a part of a lot of online internet things he's a part of a lot of things he does a lot of things he does wrestling he does the entirety of a of a DD campaign he does red thread he does official podcasts he's a lot on his plate a lot of it i mean a lot let's talk about his life personally for a second he, his girlfriend left him or he left his girlfriend i'm not sure which one it was pretty mutual on both parts from what i understand that is the whole thing there he may not have had time to process that but he's still making regular content he makes a video every day he's still making regular content that is a regular thing he's doing. That hasn't changed. Nothing's changed. I don't know why people think he's quitting YouTube because of this statement. This statement means nothing. This this statement, the statement that you see on screen right now, this statement doesn't really mean anything. As a matter of fact, they even had to have a note, a community note saying this is clickbait. Charlie is not leaving the internet. He is stepping away from the podcast. If you read the included Patreon post, it says this. Jackson confirms this will have no effect on his normal content creation. However, however, for some odd reason, the reason I even bring up the Sneeko thing, people are saying, huh, Sneeko got him. Uh, Sneeko's going for a low blow now. Charlie is the comeback different beast. You woke up something different, Sneeko. You woke up something, Sneeko. Oh my goodness. Charlie's leaving. He's fragile. Oh my goodness. I am so 
upset that people don't read anything it, it, it's such a it, it's so disgusting that people will see a headline and that's the entirety of the information they choose to consume when you have in your hand at all points in time the world's most powerful device it's my wife in the background by the way she's lovely she's also right behind me the world's most powerful device of all time and i really mean this this device can make you millions of dollars. This device can make you famous. This device is so, it can give you all the information on the planet and you refuse to use it for anything constructive. It's disgusting. So let's talk about why people think Sneeko made him duck. To be quite real with you, Charlie didn't get flustered truly by the entire thing. He, he lost the debate. He said, ah, I got, I got Sidewanted. I lost. Oh, well. And he continued to make content. People are upset. He's not talking about the Mr. Beast situation. He's not talking about this. He's not talking about that. He's not talking about this. As if we can't wait until all information comes out behind something. As if we can't wait. We have to talk about everything immediately. Ah, as soon as it comes out, we got to talk about it. Um, I need to know what's going on. I need, to know his, I need to know his opinion. His opinion matters so much to me because if he doesn't talk about it, I don't know what he thinks about it, and I can't trust him. I need to know what he thinks about everything all the time. It's so important. What a childish, infantile, disgusting. Think for yourself for two seconds. Think for yourself. Do research yourself. He's a big online content creator. He, this is his job. No. The main premise of YouTube is a broadcast yourself whatever you want to post that is youtube on my channel i post whatever i feel like because it's broadcast yourself the fact that people are up in arms up in toe up in gray up in giant up in jean about this entire situation is disgusting i hate it i hate all of it people were saying oh sneeko made him duck sneeko sneeko made him get the internet no, he may have so many other things going on in life. Do you know that most people, especially people that are famous online, do not spend most of their time online? And if you do and you're famous and you spend most of your time online, that is so bad for your mental health. A lot of people have a lot more things going on in life than just the internet. You see a small snippet of somebody's life and you think that's all they think about. That's the entirety of their entire soul. That's all they care about in this entire world. No. There's so much more in this existence and this planet. You need to go outside, touch grass deeply. There's so much more than this. This is a scu this is stupid. So in summary, Charlie's not quitting YouTube. He's quitting the side projects like the official podcast, Red Thread and Criminally Stupid. He's probably focusing on something else that's more than likely the case. There's no need to make this vast assumption about somebody when you don't know all the information because he's definitely still making content. He's not going to stop making content out of nowhere. He loves this stuff. He loves doing this. It's like his dream, his goal, his passion. It's not stressful for him because he doesn't script anything. He talks about what he wants to talk about. He screams to people that love him. Weird. And people are saying, I'm unsubscribing because he has this opinion about this. If one opinion makes you unsubscribe from somebody, if one opinion out of the entire bulk of the entire person's character makes you unsubscribe from somebody goodbye really goodbye genuinely goodbye there are so many more things to a person than just one simple bad opinion one thing one single thing can one thing it's not like it's not like he diddles kids or anything of that variety it's not like he does something like that he just said something really stupid he said yeah you know I, if you're 16 you should definitely be able to castrate yourself like that's he got he got asked a very stupid question but he didn't want to seem transphobic he wanted to stay safe charlie doesn't want to be too controversial he just wants to stay safe and that's an issue staying safe apparently gross you guys are weird that's weird it's weird dude